Anybody who uses Thinkorswim's risk profile to analyze what an options trade looks like after they've completed a, a roll to a future month or to a different strike price knows that the chart no longer represents your overall position because it doesn't take into account any profit or loss that you incurred before making the roll. So here's, a, here's an example. I had these short, um, doesn't show the number here, but I had short 10 December 48 calls in GMCR and I rolled them ahead to uh, to January where you see them right here, um, sorry, you see them right here. The, the, the uh, premium on that short, on that call is 609, but I'm not collecting 609 because I paid 629 for the previous calls. So actually there's a negative there. So this risk profile is inaccurate. So what I do is I simply create a duplicate of this order by going here and clicking, you know, create, or sorry, analyze closing order. Should have said analyze. And it's giving me the analyze of the diagonal, sorry. So I want to take this trade here and say analyze closing trade. And then I would change it from a buy to a sell because I want to make it a duplicate. I've already done that before. So what I do now is I calculate what my new effective credit is because I actually started this with uh, November 45's roll to December 48 and now I've been able to roll to January 52.5. My net credit is 19 cents, not 609. So I uncheck this and I check this and it'll show me what my risk profile is. But I'm really not interested in what it's going to be for um, for November because there's only one day left. I really want to see what my risk profile is going to be like two expirations out. Here's my December risk profile and here's my vastly improved January risk profile right up here.